Hey guys, everything new under the sun. I want to talk to you about Sync Folders Pro. Now the backstory is that I did a migration from uh, one Drobo NAS unit, uh, basically um, rated hard drive unit, backup unit, to another. So I had to uh, move a bunch of files, but there were uh, there was uh, about 1.5, 1.8 terabytes actually, and so I had to compare a bunch of folders because uh, I, I couldn't do them all at once. I started to ha had to start comparing folders to make sure all the folders were the same uh, size and number of files. So I was looking on the App Store and I came across this one, Sync Folders Pro. Now this particular one is about I think it says there 11.99. Um, I'm looking at a tiny a tiny screen uh, to review this. Uh, uh, there we go. Much better. Um, but anyways, it, it has some interesting features. It, it does basic folder synchronization and it has various options. Now, with the free version, you get you get like two options to sync uh, A to B or B to A and uh, sync and add and, and delete files. With the paid version, you get to sync from one to the other, so uh, B will always synchronize up to whatever A is um, and vice versa. There, there's various options and the, and the program uh, goes through um, uh, a lot of detail about what those options are. But this is a tool itself, 1199 from the App Store, um, so it's a pretty cheap tool and a pretty helpful tool. I, if you wanted to back up, here's all the options I was saying for transfer and you can pause that and uh, look at all the transfer options or just go to the website and it'll des describe them all. I couldn't even describe them all to you. but the paid version comes with quite a lot of different options. I use the straight A to B uh, because I want to I want to make sure that um, one whole folder was uh, copied to another hard drive. The nice thing about this is you can schedule it and you can set up multiple tasks, so multiple folders. This could be a, a complete backup solution for you if you wanted uh, to synchronize to files to a backup hard drive or to a Drobo or another NAS unit. You can see all the options there. Move deleted files to um, certain places. There's options to schedule Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, of the week. Uh, there's options to sync every couple of, every 30 seconds, for example. <clears throat> there's uh, options to preserve um, the, the date uh, stamps on the files as well, as you can see there. And then there's all sorts of logging that goes along with this too. So not only can you schedule you can filter files out for what you actually want to synchronize or transfer. Um, uh, there's also all these uh, logs, etc. One key feature is the monitor feature, and that was a feature I was missing because I, I started my sync and I saw that uh, in sync uh, page, this page right here that we're looking at, running sync, sync pro process, but I didn't see it doing anything. Uh, and then I realized after when I was doing this review basically that there's a little monitor program that you can actually pull down from the menu, the sync monitor you see in that drop down there. And that actually shows you uh, the uh, the count of increasing. And you'll see it here. One, This was a small test I did with about a, a 10 gig file, but what I did was I copied the folder into my desktop and I removed a bunch of photos from it just to see if it would copy those over because I figured, well, maybe it was just because the files that I was moving was, uh, you know, that was so large. I was looking for it to synchronize, you know, uh, 50, 100 gig uh, folders. And it just wasn't moving, um, but like I say, it turns out you just need the the monitor feature for that. Um, it has full logs of all the tasks that start, stop, or don't complete. Um, there's a whole pile of settings that I, I'm not even going to go through, um, but it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty good tool. It's a pretty responsive. Um, I think I want to show you the the monitor here. I'm not sure when that part comes up, but uh, it's definitely a definitely a good tool, and you can use it to back up. A whole hard drive, or uh, you know, a f individual folders, and have them all um, syncing uh, with different requirements or different filters, etc. There, you can uh, create your list of tasks, etc. So here's where I actually go into the sync monitor, uh, which I didn't realize when I first started using it, and this actually shows the live count uh, of, of files being transferred. So here you can see it, it's counting up the files. This is what you actually want. I don't know why they don't put it in, this in the main interface on the last changes to give you an idea, um, but it is what it is. I, I would have just put that monitor right built into the main window so that you had an idea as to what exactly was occurring because otherwise you don't know and I, that that was part of the complaints on the App Store that people thought it had trouble with large file sizes and I'm not sure that it does. It seemed to transfer one gig, uh, or sorry, 10 gig uh, folder uh, pretty well and very responsively. Um, now I am doing this on an SSD so it's going to be faster than a spin drive. 
I think in the next clip here, next uh, a minute's worth of time, 59 seconds or something clip, um, I show transferring the whole folder. And again, and this is from SSD to SSD, same drive actually, so not on a, on a spin drive. So it's a lot faster than if you were transferring from a NAS, very likely, unless you have SSDs on your NAS. Uh, but this is the full uh, 10 gig. So I pull up the sync monitor, and now you can actually see the monitor going through. It's counting files, and then it's uh, uh, creating copy tasks. All the meanwhile, the last changes in the actual um, program window doesn't show a change. So I think some people saw the main program window not doing anything, and they thought it was just sitting there doing nothing like, like I kind of thought. Um, so the, the monitor is the key piece there. So for, uh, for 12 bucks, uh, and this is basically a complete backup solution, or could be, um, then I would definitely, definitely recommend it. It just works. And uh, you can see it, it just worked there. That was a 10 gig folder of all sort a number of files. And so uh, for anybody who's looking for a uh, recommendation, uh, I, would, I would give it a two thumbs up. There's only a, uh, you know, a few small things that I would change about it. Um, the main one being, I think, that monitor put that right into the main tool. But otherwise, uh, um, yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.